Uh, this is <clears throat> my first one like this, folks. I'm making it up as I go along. Just an old record album. Some cheap acrylic paints. I'm a beginner, so I didn't want to get into really expensive stuff until I know what I'm doing. So, let's just uh, get on with it and see what happens. Ah, my pedal's still out of here. going to be what I wanted it to be, but that's okay. I'm new at it. So I'm just going to experiment. This time I am wearing some gloves. A good idea. Makes cleanup just a little bit easier. Now uh, this is not the colors I planned on it being, but that's the way art goes. Sometimes you know what you're doing and sometimes you don't. I really don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> okay, some bubbles in there. Let's get some bubbles out. And uh, I just uh, go at it till it's covered. And it's got an interesting shape. You can always go through and redecorate. Again, I don't have a plan in mind, I'm just winging it. Some people, artists that have been at a lot longer than I have, um, they can actually control what they're doing a lot better. And me, right now, I'm just winging it. That's okay too. I call it artistic license. You make it into whatever you want. You get a vision in your head, but it changes. Don't be afraid to put your fingers in there. Mess with it. This is just an old record album. I believe it's Peter Frampton. Peter Frampton's double album. I found at a Goodwill many, many, many years ago. Okay, folks, what do you think? Hmm. I don't know how much of it I actually got on camera because uh, I got it leaning up on household items just to get my iPad to stand up for viewing. So let's just hope it works out. Okay, this is a lot prettier than I thought it was going to originally be. It helped to add some swirly cues to it as I call it. Let's see if we can get my pedestal back up. I'm using a loaf pan for my kitchen. Plastic bags. And all kinds of homemade stuff. I didn't even set up a work area this time. I just wanted to hurry up and make one before I went and picked up my granddaughter. So this is just a quickie project. So, just make a little spot. There we go. Make sure it's level. Uh, my floors are tore up because um, I'm going to put in different flooring, so it doesn't really matter that I don't have a drop cloth down. I need to go buy another one today. I used up my, old, my other one by having the nieces and nephews do their art. Okay, I gotta eyeball this to see if it's level. There's my white paint. Get that out of the way. I 
Let's see. It's leaning a little bit coming from the plastic bags. I'm so organized, can't you tell? Alrighty, folks. There we have it. You can see how messy you get. Um, so anyways, I just did this really quick. I just used what I had on hand. Normally, you'd want to have a good work area and get all your stuff out ahead of time. But me, I was watching some videos on YouTube and I thought, hey, I'm going to get my stuff out and I'm going to hurry up and do at least one of these before I go pick up Rosie. So, here you go, folks. I hope you like it. Um, I like it better than my first attempts. Oh, I also want to get a heat gun so I can bring the cells out, too. That gives it a whole different look. I'm starting to learn more about it. So, hopefully, folks, um, each time I do it, I'll get better. And when I get more canvases bought, that's when I'm really going to get excited to do my canvas paintings. So, anyway, I just used some cheap acrylic paint. Um, you mix equal parts with clear Elmer's glue. You can also use silicone oil, but I haven't gotten into that yet. Anywho, I will list in the description what I used, just in case you're interested. Okay, thank you.